certainly not going to underestimate, underestimate Empoli by any stretch of the imagination. They are without their top scorer, though. As I say, Ciro Immobile not really fit enough to be participating this evening. And after that, their next high scorers. They are present, or three of the four are, with three goals. Francesco Acerbi, the centre-back Correa, and Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Marco Parolo, who also has three goals, is banned for tonight's fixture. The leading light in terms of goals for Empoli is without doubt Ciccio Caputo. 11 strikes for him. He is involved this evening from the start. That is, as is Rade Krunic, who has scored three times this season. Not long ago, the uh, Lazio Eagle was released to fly around the stadium as is customary before home matches. The uh, very popular team mascot called Olympia flew around, people taking photos. And there are the twins, the Lazio twins, there for every match. Everyone will be hoping for an entertaining match. Full of energy and some goals. Empoli need to start getting some points in this run where they have a one, four, five matches. But I think that might be a little bit too much to ask. Getting any kind of positive result against this Lazio side. There is Romulo with his back to us, just near Caicedo. The number 27, making his Lazio debut. Brazilian wing back. Lazio in their traditional sky blue kit. Empoli tonight in all black. Today's referee is the 34-year-old Daniela Kifi from Padova. Not long now until the teams make their way onto the pitch. Pretty good turnout here. As I say, it's something of a novelty, something of a, uh, a midweek extra Serie A action here. Having played on Monday as well in a derby of sorts, Lazio against Frosinone. Back in action almost immediately on the Thursday. Slavo who scored the decisive penalty in the which will be the player I think who is uh, asked to get forward and make things happen in attack there is Malinkovic as ever for the sets of players continue 